friends welcome back to our Lakshmi's physics classes in this video I am going to explain the previously asked neat questions from units and measurement let's see a student measures the distance traveled in free fall of a body initially at rest in a given time he uses the data to estimate g the acceleration due to gravity if the maximum percentage of error in a measurement of the distance and the time are even and e2 respectively the percentage error in the estimation of g is see for that consider the equation that is s is equal to ut plus half at square and here body is initially at rest so this term becomes zero so i'm writing s as h because it was freely falling body so height i'm considering now half acceleration as acceleration due to gravity and t square from this we have to find the error percentage of error in the estimation of g so g is equal to 2h upon t square so percentage of error we have to find consider delta g upon g percentage so multiply with 100 which is equal to no need to write the constant so h delta h upon h multiply with 100 plus here it is 2 delta t upon t multiply with 100 okay so which is equal to delta h upon h multiply height see here distance is e1 so e1 plus here it is 2 and time is represented with e2 so this is the percentage of error see here b is the correct option let's see the next question if the error in the measurement of radius of a sphere is 2 percent then the error in the determination of volume of the sphere so formula for the volume of the sphere is 4 upon 3 pi r cube here 4, 4 upon 3 and pi is the constant so here we are we have to find the percentage of error in the determination of volume so delta v upon v multiply with 100 is equal to here it is 3 delta r upon r multiply with 100 okay now which is equal to 3 into here it is Measurement of percentage of the error in the sphere of the radius is 2% is given. So 2 which is equal to 6%. See D is the correct option. Let us see the next question. See the density of a cube is measured by measuring its mass and length of its sides. If the maximum error in the measurement of mass and length are 3% and 2% respectively, the maximum error in the measurement of density would be formula for density is equal to mass upon volume. See volume can be written as L cube. Okay. So we have to find the percentage of error in the measurement of density. So delta rho upon rho multiply with 100 which is equal to delta m upon m multiply with 100 plus 3 delta L upon L and multiply with 100 which is equal to delta M is 3 plus already here 3 multiply and L is 2 so which is equal to 3 plus 6 which is equal to 9 percent so see here D is the correct option let's see the next question percentage of error in the measurement of mass and the speed are 2 and 3 respectively error in the estimation of kinetic energy obtained by measuring mass and speed will be formula for kinetic energy is half m v square so which is equal to kinetic energy upon multiply with 100 percentage of error of kinetic energy so no need to write the constant so delta m upon m multiply with 100 plus here it is 2 this is v delta v upon v multiply 100 so which is equal to mass is given as 2 percent plus 2 multiply and here at speed is 3 which is equal to 2 plus 2 3 is a 6 which is equal to 8 percent see here a is the correct option let's see the next question a certain body weight 22.42 grams and has a measured volume 
4.7 cc cubic centimeter the possible error in the measurement of mass and volume are 0.01 gram and 0.1 cubic centimeter then maximum error in the density will be you know that density is equal to mass upon volume so let's see here delta rho upon rho multiply with 100 which is equal to delta m upon m 100 plus delta v upon v multiply with 100 so which is equal to here change in the mass is 0 0.01 gram upon here original mass is 22.42 plus change in v is 0 0.1 upon v is 4.7 so upon calculating you will get 2 percent see here b is the correct option next question taking into account of significant figures what is the value of 9.99 meters minus 0 0.0099 meters see here 9.99 and 0 0.0099 we can keep here zeros so here it is 10 minus 9 is 1 9 minus 9 is 0 and 8 minus 0 8 and here it is 9.9 .9. see here 9.9801 a is the correct option i hope you understand please do like the video share with your friends if you haven't subscribed the channel please do subscribe the channel and activate the bell button to receive the updates thank you for watching this video